good morning, or depending on when you're listening to this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio, so today we are starting our playthrough of Let's Go Eevee. Yes, we could have gone Let's Go Pikachu. No, it was never even in doubt, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be using the Pokeball Plus as we go through this because, well, I spent the extra money on the Pokeball Plus. It would be kind of silly at this stage if we weren't actually going to use it. Yes, it's on, ladies and gentlemen. He says, and it won't select it, and I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. So, we are confirming, we are rolling. It is all about the Pokeball Plus at this stage. I'm so excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited. I am old school Pokemon fan. I am big Pokemon fan. I have been big Pokemon fan for many, many years. And we are rolling. Now, we have already started. I'm going to be honest with you. I tried to stream. The stream was not wonderfully successful. We are 45 minutes in. And what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen... We are chaining Bell Sprouts. All you missed was me going through menus and then me catching a boatload of Bell Sprout. Because you see, you can chain in this game. And chaining just means running into the same Pokemon over and over again and catching them. And you'll notice that if we go and have a look in our bag, we have caught a whole bunch of Bell Sprout. We have a 30 chain going on, and rumors have it that if you hit a 31 chain, then you get yourselves a perfect IV Bell Sprout, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bell Sprout number 31. I know, right? Oh, I am way better in handheld mode at uh, throwing these. I usually get it pretty in the center, it's just I usually waste two or three. Right, that is Bell Sprout number 31. Now I hear, after this stage, what you actually do is you get an increased chance of it being shiny. And then they all have perfect IVs. What I will say is I'm a little bit silly, because now my party is an Eevee and five Bellsprout. What I should have done, and I was a little bit short-sighted, that one's on me. What I should have done was catch like a Pidgey and a Rattata, and then start chaining Bellsprout, so that I was essentially building up an Eevee, uh, sorry, uh, a Rattata and a Pidgey, rather than just building up Bowsprout over and over again. I didn't. That was silly. And my goal here is very simple. I want to have like a perfect IV victory bout right at the beginning of the game. Plus, when people tell me, hey, Wossy, if you chain these, you can keep going. I'm like, right, if I can get a perfect one by chaining, I'm going to keep... Oh, are you absolutely kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, I have been chaining Bowsprout. I chained it for 30 minutes earlier, and it reset it. It reset my chain. I got 30. I was one away from having a perfect IV Bowsprout, and then I paused it so, so, I could, so I could come and record it for you guys, and it killed my chain. I no longer have a Bowsprout... Well, that's a lie. I do have a Bowsprout chain going on, but unfortunately... It is a much, 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 much smaller Bellsprout chain. This is extremely upsetting. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, for you guys, this is going to take seconds. I'm going to go back into the front room. I'm going to sit and chill with my lovely lady wife. I'm going to catch another... Oh, no, I'm going to be out of Pokeballs. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go into Meridian City, have a quick play around, and then at the first opportunity I get, I'll restart my Bellsprout chain... And I'll do that while we're, while we're not here. I am genuinely, legitimately upset about that, ladies and gentlemen. I thought, hey, let's save Bowsprout number 31 for when I was with you guys, for when I was recording. But no. Hey-ho. I mean, one of the things you need to note about this game, it's absolutely beautiful. If you're like me, you started playing Pokemon back when it was red and blue. Back when it was a proper original games. And they did not look like this. Well, I will stock up on Pokeballs, thank you. for Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there's Team Rockets. I can carry news. And actually, one thing that... Oh, I can't... I need cut. One thing that's really cool about this is you're carrying all your Pokemon. So your Pokemon box is actually carried around with you the whole time. So I can just go to... And I can just put them in my party whenever I want, which is actually a really cool feature of this. 
That's why I'm a big fan. <gasps> it's Team Rocket! Oh. Oh, what? I'm going to be honest, I was hoping for some kind of, like, showdown. I'm a little bit upset that there was no showdown there. Oh, never mind. Yes, there are two types of caterpillar. What's this dude? Why can't I go in that shop? What's that shop? Ooh, he's going to tell me stuff. I am from Pallet Town. I do know Professor Oak. I would love to take it down to Professor Oak. In a minute, like I'm busy at the moment, dude. I'll take it down in a bit. I will say hi to Professor Oak for you, though, because I am a friendly man. Yeah, let's go straight back to the lab. I wonder what this present is. Let's see. Hey, Professor Oak, how you doing, buddy? Evie's doing all right. To be honest, Evie's just been sitting there while I catch Bowsprout. So I'm so salty it, it hurt my chain. I am so incredibly salty that it hurt my chain, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's hard to understate. I spent 40 minutes catching Bowsprout. I had the chain ready to go. Grrr, etc. I do. I have a parcel for you, Professor Oak. I want to know what it is, though. <laughs> I called my rival not Wassy. I tried to call him like idiot, and he couldn't even do that, so I just called him not Wassy. <laughs> oh, some raspberries. That seems weird. It seems weird that he would get raspberries delivered to him so we could come and pick them up when he knew we were going to Viridian City. It, it seems like he could have just given the clerk, instead of saying to the clerk, hey, can you deliver them? He could have just been like, hey, could, why don't you just, you know, when they come along, give them to them. That seems more sensible. Oh, we're going to have a Pokemon battle. It's battle time. Now, I am the Wossy in this game, and I'm taking on Not Wossy. That's right. You're going down, Not Wossy. I mean, fairly obviously, I called him Not Wossy because he's Not Wossy. Now, the good news is, because I spent like 40 minutes catching Bowsprout, he's level 6, and I'm level 13. And I've got double kick. In your face, Pikachu. I'm massively overpowered. <laughs> One hit KO. One hit KO, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, fun times, ladies and gentlemen. Fun times. I know, right? You just went down. In your face. Oh, good times. Good times, ladies and gentlemen. You should have trained your Pokemon up a little bit. That was so easy. <laughs> oh, wait. Has he got, like, a present for me? Since I, like, smashed my rival so easily, surely he's got a present for me. You got a present for me, Oak? <laughs> oh. Whoopsie doodle. Well... I'm slightly embarrassed about that, ladies and gentlemen. There is a little bit of embarrassment on my part. In my defense, right, I've caught a lot of Pokemon. They're just all Bellsprout. Ooh, who's this? Ooh. So my friend's big sister's giving me sportswear. I cannot be the only one that thinks that's just a teensy bit weird. Aw, oh, look at him. Part partner play? Uh, well, I've, I'm using the Pokemon Go Plus. Aww. Hey, little Evie. Can I grab his eye? No. I don't need to show him some love all the time. He knows I love him. I'm carrying him on me head. Oh, yeah. So we're going to break the chain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to break the chain. Because that way we can build up like a Pidgey and a Rattata and just have like a selection of different Pokemon. And then I'll go redo the chain in a moment, chilling with me wife, and then you guys can... We'll join in later. Or I'll just do the... I, the chain will carry on, ladies and gentlemen. See, look, I've got loads of level 12 Bowsprout now. I'm not proud of myself. Oh. But I've registered a Pidgey, so, you know, it could be a little bit worse. 
Right, come on. Give me a Rattata. Rattata should not be hard to find here. You know like when you try doing some... Hey, there's one. I love how you just see them running around. You can run into them. That's so cool. Oh. That's so cool. When you meet him the first time, he's just kind of like, Oh, dude, I don't have my Pokemon with me, so we can't have a battle. Now, apparently, when you find him, he's like, Hey, I do. I told you it's going to be Rattata. Well, if you watch the stream, I told you anyway. Alrighty then. Good news is, I've got a level 13 Eevee with double kick. So, this is going to be kind of like hilarious. Didn't even need the second kick. Didn't even need it, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, it's super effective because it's fighting type. So, ha <laughs> ha In your face, youngster Ronnie. Okay. Oh, I got Pokeballs. That's kind of cool. Beat up a dude, get some Pokeballs. Right, we do need to catch this Rattata because we haven't actually caught a Rattata yet. So it is quite important that we catch one now. Excellent. So, now I've got my Pidgey. It seems like you get Pidgey, Rattata and Bowsprout at the beginning. It seems like they are your only options. So I think what I need to go to got, do now is I need to go to the Poker Center, or Pokemon Center, and then just pick up a whole bunch of Pokeballs so I can potentially restart the Bowsprout chain, and then we can carry on with our adventure, catch some more Pokemon, go to the first city, and all of that good stuff. Cool. Oh. Not Wossy. Yeah, I look pretty pleased because I one-hit your Pikachu. No. No, 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 no. My Eevee hasn't lost a single hit point yet because I've been one-hitting everybody that comes before me. I'm like, oh, 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 hey, not Wossy. Yeah, you're going down. Oh, hey, youngster Ronnie. Yeah, you're going down. No, I wouldn't like to rest my Pokemon because my Pokemon are great. To be fair, I have lost some PP. Oh, you don't buy, you don't get Pokeballs from the Pokemon Center. That's silly. You get them, you, you get them from the shop. <laughs> Let's speak to some people. I do love the whole having a Pokemon box in my bag. Oh, they did look at that level of detail, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I know that compared to some more modern games, this isn't amazing. But honestly, just for, for Pokemon, we have never seen anything like this before. This is so far beyond anything we've had before. Oh, I'm just running into a school in the middle of a lesson. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I am a teacher in my professional life. Nah, we know all of those. If some random dude with a dog on his head ran into my lesson while I was teaching, I wouldn't be happy about that. I would tell him to get out. I, I, I am a kid from Pallet Town. Is, is he going anywhere with that, or...? Ah, okay, here we are. I'm here to buy. I would like to buy a boatload of Pokeballs. Let's just spend all my money on Pokeballs. There we go. Okay, to be fair, I could actually... Ooh, Premiables. My brother, a couple years ago, for Christmas, my brother told me he'd gotten my, um... He said, oh, I got you a really good Christmas present, but it was free. And I'm like, well... Oh, we should have talked to the people in there, shouldn't we? Let's not be unfriendly, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back and, and talk to them. So... I said to my wife, I'm like, oh, you know, give me a free present, uh, etc. You know, it's like he doesn't even care. Well, it turns out he was, in fact, he bought me a plush premiable. So not only was it an amazing present, but it was actually like when he was telling me about it, it was a Pokemon joke. I was like, good work, brother. Okay. So let's see what else and about. So that's the school. We've been in the school. And we spoke to this dude? I think we did speak to this dude. I get it. Team Rocket were... Okay, so it was basically pushing us towards a particular thing. Team Rocket are standing in the way so that they can't... You know, so I can't get past. So I have to go and pick up the parcel. So I have to take it to Professor Oak. That makes sense. Let's walk into somebody's house. Which, in the Pokemon world, is absolutely fine. Ooh, I like that you can just change your Pokemon's nickname from the main menu. That makes me pretty happy. As a quick side note, oh, my daughter, when she's older, she's going to be like, my daddy loves Pokemon. 
way more than I do. I hope that's not true, but it probably will be. Bonuses aren't that heavy. Oh, I got a bow sprout. Hey, bow sprout. For the record, what we're aiming to do? Oh, it's a gym, but it's closed. No, I don't want to talk to you, Bow Sprout. Viridian City Gym. We'll have to come back to this one later. Now, my plan is extremely simple. My plan is just wait until I get to the point where you can ha where you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go, and then when I get to that stage, it is just all Porygon all the time. I've got a Porygon save to transfer over. No, the chaining is going to have to wait, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have enough money to buy enough Pokeballs. But we have found our very first Weedle. And I do like Weedle. Also right. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm using the Pokeball Plus. It's not the easiest thing to use. As far as I'm concerned, Beedrill, better than Butterfree, ladies and gentlemen. I think Beedrill is a significantly better Pokemon than Butterfree. Now, I know Butterfree had the anime episode. That was cute. That was lovely. That was nice. But as far as I'm concerned, Beedrill. Beedrill all the way. Hey, Weedle! Oh, do I now want to chain Weedle? I, I almost want to restart the game so that I can chain Bowsprout properly. I mean, I'm not going to. That seems, even for me, a little bit absurd. Although while we're here, why we don't have we why do we not have a Weedle following us around? That just seems like bad planning on my part. Hey. Am I going to Viridian Forest? Why yes! Yes, I am going to Viridian Forest. But I think if we're gonna go to Viridian Forest, we're gonna need ourselves a Weedle. So I'm assuming we go to Pokemon Box. We find ourselves our Weedle. And Okay, let's just switch it out for one of these battle sprouts, it doesn't really matter. So when how do I get him following me? Oh there we go. Take out of Pokeball. Yay! There's a tiny little Weedle following me around. Ooh. So now we're going to go through Viridian Forest. We're going to catch some Pokemon. We're going to fight some trainers. Let's battle them. Let's battle them indeed, sir. Let's battle them indeed. Hey, Bug Catcher Rick. What's going on? I'm pretty sure his Caterpie is no match for my Eevee with Double Kick. I feel fairly confident about that. You're going down, sir. <laughs> oh! Oh no, he still went down. I thought he might actually survive a double kick then. That's like my one move at the moment. Throw out Eevee, use double kick. Job is a good one. Yeah, that's right. You lost Bug Catcher, Rick. You can't tack it. You gone down. I love how they give you Pokeballs when you beat them. That makes me super happy. We do need a bunch more Pokeballs. Right. So, we're not going to worry about chaining for the time being because I'm a little bit sad about the whole chaining thing. Oh, it's a, t it's a tiny Caterpie. No, I don't want to use a berry. Because, you know, there's going to be Pokemon in the future that I want to catch. One of the things I think is awesome about this game... Oh! That was rude. That's the first one that's escaped from the Pokeball yet. One of the things that's awesome is that you can see the Pokemon running around, which means that you know what you're catching. You can avoid Pokemon you don't want to catch, and it means that you don't have to... Like in previous Pokemon games, you just go through wild encounter after wild encounter after wild encounter, just crossing your fingers. Oh, sound attack can be kind of fun. Just stop your opponent ever being able to hit you. So let's get rid of Tail Whip and get Sand Attack back. So, it, it, you know, you'd go into all of these random battles and it would be, oh, it's the one you don't want. 
and you just have to go into the random battle, run away, go into the random battle, run away, go into the random battle, run away. Whereas now, with this, it's just kind of like, I don't want to catch that, so I'm not going to bother. Right, we might as well catch a Metapod because we don't have one yet. I know we can evolve up soon enough, but we do want to sort our Pokedex as fast as we can. So let's catch ourselves a Metapod. One of the most useless Pokemon, it just sits there and uses Harden over and over again. Okay, I don't like this. On Route 1, all the Pokemon were just kind of chilling. Whereas here, they're all like, I'm not just going to go straight into the Pokeball. You're going to have to actually earn it. Well, maybe I don't want to earn it, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I don't want to earn it. I should mention at this stage, if you guys have got any suggestions for Let's Go Eevee videos that you'd like me to make, please do let me know in the comment section. And we'll see if I can get to them. As it stands at the moment, we're going to do this playthrough. And we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how much people want it. I can play this through while chatting to you guys and sharing some stories and talking some Pokemon. But we certainly don't have to. Obviously, to be clear, the TCG videos, they're going to carry on. The TCG videos aren't going anywhere. But Let's Go Eevee is an incredibly exciting game. So why would I not want to do a little bit of this as well? Oh, okay, this cat is annoying me. So, maybe we will use a Raspberry. But you can see here that, you know, it's, it's all up in Pokemon Go. The berries are the same ones as in Pokemon Go. And the catching mechanics are like in Pokemon Go. They really are trying to catch both of the audiences. And I think it might be working. I mean, certainly as a lifelong Pokemon nerd, I didn't go, oh, I've already done this. I was like, no, let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's tuck Weedle away. Bye, Weedle. Oh, man, that's so sad. Just running into this little kid who's like, I ran out of Pokeballs and now I'm really sad. Also, right, if this is the end of Iridian Forest, I'm calling it now. Not much of a maze. I was promised like a full-on maze. I don't think it's a maze. Hey, last Brittany. Oh, Nidoran around female. We are, we are still very much in the early stages of the game. We're getting all the kind of starter for 10 Pokemon. Your Rattata and your Pidgey and your Weedle and your Caterpie. Not the big boys yet. But like I've said, I mean, one of the... Ooh! Ooh! I'm actually being attacked! For the very first time in the game, I'm actually being attacked! Let's just finish it off with Quick Attack, shall we? <laughs> I mean... I'm a little bit torn, right? Because you can just transfer Pokemon over from Pokemon Go, but then that means that it becomes a little bit easier, in a way, because you can just kind of get the Pokemon you want on Pokemon Go and transfer them over. Whereas if you have to just stay on it, then... Well, you, you can just roll. And, you know, you have to catch them in the game. So, I don't know, there's, there's something about just having to... Oh, the oh, the surrounded by Pokemon. There's something about having to catch them in the game, which is kind of nice and special. Oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah, we just do not have... We, we used all of our Pokeballs chaining to 30. And then we ran out. Well, we would have. We as good as ran out. I know I spent most of this video talking about how salty I am, but ladies and gentlemen, the salt is real. Also, if anyone's wondering right, the official ranking of Generation 1 Pokemon is number 1, Porygon, number 2, Snorlax, and I know Snorlax, well, I don't know, but I'm assuming very strongly that Snorlax is going to be blocking a road somewhere and I'm going to go and have to move him, and then number 3, Golem. I look forward to being in a cave at some point and just catching Geodude after Geodude after Geodude. The chaining mechanics really interest me. Because, oh man, this dude is not wanting to be caught. Because with the chaining, right, you just look for the Pokemon, you run around, you get them all, and after you get like 30 of them, you get all the IVs you want. So I quite like that, because you just sit in front of the telly, right, and you just chill, and you just catch, and you just catch the Pokemon that you want to catch. That, to me, seems really cool. That seems like a really good use of your time. 
Because you can do it while you're sitting watching the telly, you know, stick a film on or whatever, sit with your girlfriend, your wife, whoever, and then just sit and chain the right Pokemon you want until you get a good one, then carry on with your adventure. Oh. There we go. Right, I feel like I should be changing my party a little bit so I've got all the right ones at the active. Now, the other thing is, she said I could get a Bulbasaur in this forest, and I kind of want a Bulbasaur. I mean, it's Bulbasaur, right? And when you run into an NPC saying you can catch a Bulbasaur, as far as I'm concerned, I want to get a Bulbasaur. Hey-ho. It's a bit weird that she would ask me for a big Pikachu, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be honest with you, that to me seems just a little bit strange. That is not a normal question that you ask somebody. So what I'm going to do for some parts of this game as we're doing the walkthrough, when it's just I'm running around catching a few Pokemon and trainers, we might skip them, we might fast forward. We'll see how we go. As always, any suggestions in the comment section. So there might be bits where we skip forward a little bit, or there might be bits where we go into fast speed. That's all right. I'm okay with this. Yes, Weedle's gone to level six. This is nice. That's what you get for asking me weird questions at the beginning. It's strange and I don't like it. Now that's a slightly less weird question. Yes, I do have a partner Pokemon. One common misconception with Pokemon, everybody calls, you know, your Eevee, your, Bul oh, sorry, your Bulbasaur, well in this game Eevee, but your Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, etc. People refer to them as starter Pokemon. The correct term is first partner Pokemon. They're not a starter. Starter implies you might get rid of them in the future. No, ladies and gentlemen. They're your first partner Pokemon. They are the first Pokemon that are your partner. Oh, don't poison me. That's just rude. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to mess him up with a quick attack. And then we're going to go and get ourselves an antidote. So I feel fairly confident quick attack will get there. I'm going to be honest, my double kick everything until they fall over and run away strategy does not seem to be working brilliantly because that's like a level 3 Pokemon that didn't get KO'd with my double kick, which I find very upsetting. The good news is I seem to be collecting a nice collection of Pokeballs, which means that I can start a new chain in a minute, and if you haven't guessed by now, Wossy is itching to do some chaining. I'm also, okay, I, I lied, this is much more of a maze than I originally gave it credit for. Ladies and gentlemen, we found a wild bee drill. This takes some of the um, difficulty out of trying to uh, get a, a million different Weedle. Now, I think at this stage it's fair to say we are going to need a Raspberry to catch this big boy. Come on, give me a bee drill. Now, there's a very good chance that catching a wild bee drill means we're not going to actually have a very good bee drill. But as far as I'm concerned, right, if you find a wild bee drill, you go for Wild Bee Drill. Oh no! Wait, I think I forgot to use a Raspberry. Also right, level 6 Bee Drill? That's a bit weird. I am loving the Pokeball Plus, by the way. The, just the whole throwing it thing is great. I think I might have to get a face cam on for future videos. The tech was, was letting me down today. Don't use all of my Pokeballs, Bee Drill. Don't do it. And I know I could just evolve a Weedle up. I know I don't need to do this. But I just... When you find a wild Beedrill, you've got to try catching it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, come on. On the other side, because it takes it such a big target, my throwing is proving rather good. So, you know, go Wossy, go, go, go Wossy, go. Right, this has now turned into an epic battle between man and kind of wasp. Although, fun fact, there's never been a wasp poke... Oh, you... Oh, I hate you. I think the title of this video is going to have the word disappointment in it. Because, frankly, we tried chaining... And I might have mentioned this once or twice. No, I don't need this. We tried... No, I don't. <laughs> we tried chaining Bellsprout. And then, because I, I, I've actually turned my game off and then turned it on again, and then it stopped my chain. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, we just wasted so many Pokeballs on a bee drill. Okay, is there any way I can get through this grass without doing, like, 20 wild encounters? Oh, look at him go, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see that? That was a thing of beauty. 
I got round it quite nicely. Okay, I am now willing to admit that this is somewhat more of a maze than I originally gave it credit for. Oh, it's a canopy. Thing is, right, colorblind people like myself, we are going to struggle. Oh. Every so often you do get the lame throws on the Pokeball Plus. Some people like me who are colorblind are going to struggle, to be honest with you. Especially when you've got, like, green Pokemon in grass. It's not always that easy to tell. It's very sad, but what can you do about it? I do my best. Oh, come on, Caterpie. Be my friend, mate. Yeah! Come on. Okay. Because when I'm playing Pokemon Go, when I'm out and about, I go through these... And I'm sure you guys do as well. These periods of time where you cannot catch anything. And I worried that I was getting into one of those. Good news is, it's not. Right, let's quickly finish Viridian City. See if we can maybe go and do a gym. You can't punk out on a battle if you're a real Pokemon trainer? Maybe you can't. I can punk out on whatever battle you like. I'm tempted to run away from this battle just to prove him wrong. But I think instead I'll just take down his Kakuna with my Eevee. Who, at this stage, my Eevee's basically becoming borderline beastly. Now, Double Kick, for some reason, this is not working on these bug Pokemon. I mean, it's not for some reason. It, it, it's because they're resistant. So let's go for Tackle instead. Yeah, that's right. One hit KO'd by Tackle. Oh, didn't punk out on the battle, did I? Because I didn't need to punk out on the battle. Oh, did you expect to win with your level 3 Kakuna? No. Oh, we have another trainer battle. Do I want to know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? See, what is it with these lasses and asking weird questions and insulting me? Why are all of these trainers just assuming I'm an idiot? Telling me I can't punk out on a battle though that wasn't a lass, admittedly. Offering to show me how to throw a Pokeball? Hey, do you want to see how to get knocked out in one hit by an Eevee? That's how. That's how you get knocked out in one hit by an Eevee. I hope she learned her lesson, ladies and gentlemen. I hope she learned her lesson. Your battle wasn't right on target. My Eevee, on the other hand, I am already feel like I'm forming a close emotional bond with this Eevee. I feel like me and this Eevee, we're kind of like, we're, we're getting through things. Me and this Eevee, we're getting tight, right? I tried to give him a nickname, but I accidentally called him Eevee. Which I'm going to be honest with you, is, is not the, um... It's not the most original nickname I've ever given a Pokemon. Like, if I'm 100% honest, I have done better. Okay, this is like a full-on maze at this stage. I'm happy about this. I mean, I know it wasn't the original game, but shh. Okay, we have one more battle. What's the hurry? What's the rush? The rush is... I'm taking you down. Bug catcher, Sammy. Oh, man. I don't know if there's any characters called Ross. I know there was... There, there is a character called Ross. There was all Ross's whale card I've told you about before. But I, I, I'd quite like to find a character called Ross in this game. That would make me happy. Oh. Yeah, I'm using the Pokeball Plus and I accidentally selected Sand Attack. That was not what I meant to do. I mean, the good news is his tackle is not doing very much, so it, it's not too bad. Right, quick attack, take him down, one hit. I mean, my speed's way higher than his anyway. I don't need quick attack, but I'm using quick attack and you can't stop me. I suppose you could come around to my house and stop me, but that would be weird. So please don't. Yeah, I got some Pokeballs. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to Pewter City, and we have found not Wossy. Yeah. I am definitely going to try and take him on. Ooh. Oh, that's not fair. I'm sitting here trying to, like, hate him, and he's giving me presents. Oh, okay, but then he's boasting. He's like, hey, I got you a present that I bought with all my winnings from being great. And I'm like, oh, that was a really nice gesture and you ruined it at the last minute. Do I know what he's doing? I'm growing stuff? I'm assuming he's growing stuff. Okay. 
Trying to lure Pokemon in. I get ya. Oh, I love the music in this game. So beautiful. <laughs> it's like that woman was watching us. She's like, don't throw, throw all your money in the same place. And I'm thinking, oh, I did kind of spend all my money on Pokeballs. And then she was like, well, it is kind of nice to blow all your money on Pokeballs. And I'm like, was she watching me? That's so weird. I don't know if that, I'm assuming the NPCs just say the same thing every time. But the fact that she told me not to blow all my money, and I had blown all my money. And then she was like, oh, it's fun buying Pokeballs, which is what I blew all my money on. That's a bit weird. Now, the good news is Brock's a rock trainer, and I've got like a billion level 12 Weedle, uh, Bell Sprouts. So that's quite nice. We can work with that. All right, let's heal him up. There you go, Eevee. Look after Eevee. I love him. Right, I feel like we're going to be able to take Brock down. I feel like Brock is going down. I also feel like there's absolutely no way we can end video number one of the walkthrough without taking on Brock. Oh, weak, weak to grass, eh? <laughs> if only I had a multitude of fairly high level for the time grass Pokemon. Oh, wait. I totally do. Do I, do I want weak crunchies? I totally want... I don't even know what they are, but I want them. I don't know what pewter crunchies are, but I want them. Wait, oh, she's playing on a Switch. That's so cool. <laughs> Just random characters chilling in a Pokemon Center, playing Pokemon on their Switch. Although that's a little bit meta, because does that mean if they're playing Pokemon, let's go, if they're playing Let's Go Eevee on their Switch in the game, does that mean that they can in the game go and find themselves in the game? And at that point, it's getting all a bit meta and weird. Hey, hiker. Ooh, we're at the base of a mountain, yes! And that is a mountain in which I'm going to go and get my Geodude. I did not check out the museum already. I am a trainer. Oh, right. I think we might have to check out the rest. Oh, that was weird. We just, like, teleported over there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure we save quickly. I think... We're going to have to do all of the other buildings in a little bit. Because right now... It's time to take on Brock. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is so much cooler. There's, there's an actual audience on seats. Oh, my goodness. I don't care that it's basically a remake of the first one. Really? That's so strange. Oh, that's a weird thing. You can't challenge a gym leader until you've got a Pokemon with a type advantage over the gym leader. That's very strange. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, the next, my next point was going to be that I don't even care that it's kind of half Pokemon Go. Because you know what? Pokemon Go is Pokemon Go, and it, it's a it's a big thing that everybody loves, etc. But also, you know, it's a nice different way to play Pokemon. And they're working on Generation 8, which is coming out next year anyway. It just seems very strange to me that that seemed a little bit babying. I'm going to be honest, that's the first time I've been like, but, but why can't I? Maybe, maybe I want to take down a rock Pokemon with my high-level Eevee. And I know they're trying to stop people getting smashed, but it seems like that's... You know, if you lost to Brock, Brock could have said, Don't challenge me again until... I am not 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I'm like 10 feet away from him. Also, how many Pokemon do you have? Because if you've got like one Pokemon, I am one Vine Whip away from facing Brock. Do, do you want to see it? Do you want to see my one Vine Whip I am away from facing Brock? But yeah, I mean, for, like, for a long-time Pokemon fan like me, just the fact that I can play in a fully 3D world with Pokemon running around after me, I mean, that alone makes me so happy. So happy. Oh, 
Turns out I'm not 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. We know who you are, Brock. Although in the original game, Brock was just rocking around shirtless in, in weird trousers, just being like, yes, I can do this. I am the man. And now he's wearing like a, this big kind of, well, it's bigger than your average shirt. And it's buttoned right up to the collar. Also, I don't trust anyone that buttons up their collar that isn't wearing a tie. That's weird to me. I don't like it. Open collar or tie. The choice is yours. I don't mind which one you go for. Also, right, if Brock doesn't have an Onyx waiting behind that Geodude, I'm going to be personally offended. There are certain things, like the whole catching mechanics and the no random battles and all of that, I'm fine with because it's a new way of playing Pokemon. But there are certain things that I expect in the game, and Brock having an Onyx is one of the things I expect in this game. I expect Brock's to have Brock to have an Onyx. That is just something I want. Yeah, level 14 Bowser. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, he couldn't have not had an Onyx, could he? And I look like even just being able to see the size difference between them. And I know it's probably not perfect, and I don't even care. Everything about this game, I'm loving it at the moment. And I know it's not Gen 8. We're, like I said, we're getting Gen 8 next year. But just, this is, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it, ladies and gentlemen. So, I got me Eevee. I got, and clearly this is now top Bowsprout. This is clearly now my best Bowsprout. So, even if I get a perfect IV one, this is now my boy. Yes, Brock. Yeah, ooh, you did underestimate me. And now Weedle's evolving. I wonder what it will evolve into. Oh, I don't think I really want a Kakuna following me around. Uh, we'll have to think about that. I mean, I really want a Porygon, but I'm not at the part yet where I can have a different Pokemon following me around. So, you know, we'll just have to wait on that. Of course Kakuna learned hard, and that's all Kakuna does. Yay, Boulder Badge! Eevee's on my side. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, and a TM for headbutt. A technical machine. How nice. Do I want a TGV headbutt? Maybe I do. That was easy. I think that's one of the easiest gym battles I've ever had in a Pokemon game, to be honest with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will... Oh, no, no. It's Gary. Oh, I mean blue, but... It's Gary. Oh. Oh, nice. I got some great balls. Yes. I've got a Pokedex. He used to make me scribble on a map with a pencil. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, oh, but I wanted to double kick him with my Eevee. Not him, his Pokemon. Hey, that was a weird. Just Blue rocking up, just being like, hey, I saw you have a gym badge. Have five Great Ball. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that, I believe, will do it for part one of our Let's Go Eevee playthrough. If these videos are popular enough, I will continue and do the whole playthrough. If they're not popular enough, maybe I won't. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, maybe I could do you a favor. Oh, look after you, Slowpoke. Why would I not? I would love it now if you just had to sit here for a game, for an hour of game time looking after Slowpoke while she went to the museum. You couldn't do anything for the next hour. That would amuse me. But yeah, so do make sure you like this video, ladies and gentlemen. Do make sure you pop a comment down below. If these videos are popular, I'm going to keep doing them. And any suggestions for what else you'd like to see from Let's Go Eevee would be lovely. For now, just make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, the best place to do so is over at patreon.com slash ptcgradio. And also, if you do that, you can get some bonus podcasts every week, which I think are pretty good. But then again, I am exceptionally biased. And do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassyplays. But by far the most important thing, as always... 
is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.